Omar in France, about a half hour outside of Strasbourg. We had a wonderful live feed last night, walking around, showing Strasbourg. Unfortunately, it didn't save onto YouTube, so you can't watch it again. So I thought what we'd do is actually give you a nice view of Colmar, which is an incredibly beautiful town. I mean, this place is like street after street after street of beauty. Like, you can just see behind me, we're not even with the good stuff yet. So uh, my mom and I are here. We want to wish you all a very, very happy Mother's Day. But we're just going to walk around, show you some of the stuff that's here. It's a Sunday, so what you need to know is Sundays in France, everything is closed. There's some restaurants open, but even a lot of the restaurants are closed. So we're just wandering around, taking it in. I want to show you some stuff there. So hey, Marcus. Hey, Stuart. Glad to see you all here. I'm going to switch this around here. And uh, if you can't tell, there is half-timbered houses as far as the eye can see. And we're not even too far into the city. And you're going to see a lot here. And one thing you'll notice is when you come to Colmar is most of the restaurants are Alsatian, you know, because this is the Alsace region. And uh, you'll see the Tarte Flambe, which is um, basically a flatbread pizza kind of thing with a cheese base. Um, you have a lot of pork, you'll have sauerkraut, you have all kinds of stuff. And this here is what they call Little Venice, you see with their little flat bottom boats. You get in there and they'll take you around and see some things, so it's quite nice. And then over here, you got some more of this just beautiful buildings. And when I first got here, this is what we saw, and I was like, wow, this is beautiful. And then I kept walking around like, this is beautiful, and this is beautiful, and this is beautiful, and this is beautiful. So it's quite nice. So if you have questions about Komar, or Strasbourg, Alsace, France, Europe, the US, other places, let us know. Yes, the Bartholdi Museum is actually here in Komar. For those who don't know, the artist who designed the, I or not the Eiffel Tower, sorry, the Statue of Liberty is actually from Komar, and they have a museum for them here. And when you drive in from Strasbourg, you actually pass by a replica on the highway. So it's kind of cool. You don't see it from the train station, but you do see it if you're driving in. So here's a nice one of the squares. We're just gonna walk up and down some of the side streets. Wait, mom. So I will say, you'll see that there's lots of cars going around. You have all these pedestrians here and you do have to have a heads up because uh, things do get a little get a little hairy sometimes here. So if you're coming in, one thing I tell you is the train station's about a 15, 20 minute walk from like the historic stuff you want to see. And it's not really pretty on the way in. So definitely, definitely, definitely stay in the old town, not, <laughs> not up by the train station. And, and that's one of those things. We had so many of those little helpful hints on yesterday's video that I feel really sad that that video is no longer around. So I'll try to remember some good stuff to tell you when we're here. So, Marcus is gonna hook me up. How close is uh, Colmar to Strasbourg? It's a 30 minute uh, regional train. Like you're, it's the TER, so it's literally like, it's not a fast train, it's just a normal, normal train. And if you wanna think it's pretty here, they're just looking down a side road. I mean, it's just gorgeous. The thing is there's tons of little outdoor restaurants. You know, there's some, some stuff here, I'll show you. You know, you can get your terrain. Lots of mustards here because you know you're near Germany, so the mustards are quite popular. Also, tons and tons of jams, really fantastic jams when you're here. They do love their their fruits here, so you'll see that integrated into their tarts. Very fantastic fruit tarts when you're here. Um, they do a really good job. And right now, it's actually asparagus season. So, oops, sorry. It's actually asparagus season now here, and so you'll have a lot of asparagus showing up. I had risotto with asparagus, and here the asparagus is white asparagus, which is a different flavor than the green stuff you're probably used to back home. Um, also, we've had uh, asparagus soup. I mean, it's just really, really great. Yeah, Pablo, I agree. I, I love it too. <laughs> Jonas, probably your best airport near Komar is either going to be Basel, which is about 45 minutes from here, or it's going to be Strasbourg, which is a half hour from here. So you have that. But. I know you all like my pretty face, but I think I should show this city because look at this. It's just gorgeous. And you have all these outdoor seating and it's a Sunday. So a lot of these things, you know, some aren't open, but I mean, this place is packed on the weekends because people come from Strasbourg, they come from Switzerland, they come from Germany, they come from Paris to take in this beautiful town. And yeah, my mom and I are here to enjoy it. And I know it's Mother's Day, so. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you. Yeah. 
So my, my, my gimbal is having, a, is having a tough time here. Make sure we're going the right way. But everywhere you go, you're going to see the half timber houses. And we're not even in the pretty parts yet. We're just, we're just starting to get here. So we're walking in. Let's see some questions. Yes, the weather is really nice. Oh, it's really bad where I'm in southern Italy. Yeah, Global Nico, it was, it was cold when we first got here. But the last couple days have been super nice. So, like Jocelyn was, uh, not Jocelyn, my mom, and my, my mom and I were like, oh, it's a little chilly. Now it's like, I think I got some sun today. So it's kind of funny. Now, just like anywhere, you have people that soup up their cars to rev their engines to be super cool. Super cool. See? <laughs> super cool people. Yeah, no, this is, this is a really beautiful, beautiful place. Now we're starting to get towards closer to the actual historic city. Like, we're in the historic city, but you'll start seeing a lot more pretty buildings and things kind of coming together. So, <laughs> so after a few days here, a few days, I guess for four or five days in Alsace, you start to notice that a lot of the restaurants have pretty much all the same menu. So you have the sauerkraut with the meats, or sauerkraut with a fish, or you have the pork shoulder. Got the little park here, you can just kind of chill out in. Hey, Michael. Um, but uh, what else is, then there's the, the pizza-like stuff I was talking about, the flammekuchen, the tort flambe, which is basically, you know, like I said, flatbread pizza kind of stuff. There's all that, but also another thing that's popular here is the Alsatian wine. You have a lot of really good wine here that you can try. The white wines are by far superior, but the reds, there's some decent ones there too. But uh, overall, can't go wrong. You see you got the teddy bears in the window over there. Oh, our buddy in the BMW is still driving around. You can't hear him from there. <laughs> so... go down a few different roads here. here oh I'm gonna take you over here here's the old customs house you come through hopefully we don't lose signal here and I appreciate you hopping on if you're writing me if you're watching this make sure you write your mom tell her happy Mother's Day just in case so, got an antique place over there you know, your usual statues, probably done by the guy that made the Statue of Liberty, to be honest. You have all these restaurants out. I mean, this place is really, this city is, like, lives off tourism. And you can see that. And we've had some really friendly, we had really friendly service earlier today. Yeah. Yeah, at one okay. place where we had cheese and wine and everything. And the guy's like, oh, you should have this wine and have this beer. I'm like, all right, sounds good. So we've been doing that. Let's see. Good. Mom's taking care of. Good Carmen. Glad to hear that. Yeah, it was really pretty in the evening. Walking around. So we're going to come back around to one of the uh, pedestrian streets because I don't want to walk where the traffic is. But if you look, you see how they have the storks up there. So the stork is the sign of Alsace or Alsace, how you like to say it, um, which is the sign of the city. So you'll see lots and lots of souvenirs with storks here. And they do like to put some stuff on their on their houses here a little bit. You see, you got the Easter stuff still up there, some flower boxes, even, even the Irish pub. Well, they've got flower boxes with nothing in them, but you know, I'm sure they put something that they wanted to. Let's see. Ooh, Eddie saw Iron Maiden here, that's cool. So, yes, yeah, another Irish pub. It's an Irish pub, it just has alcohol. But, yeah, you can just tell, like, this is just a gorgeous place. It's wonderful to relax, just kind of chill out, find a place to sit, have some, some food. You see those two guys there? They're having the, uh, the, the, the pizza-like stuff I was talking about, the tot flambe. So, see, so you got your hearts up here and you notice you'll see the metal signs quite a bit up in the air for different things that's kind of a cool thing and there's some little cute things like you see little the little i guess bear 
<laughs> in there just hanging out. Oh, also, you'll notice that a lot of the street signs here in Alsace will actually have two languages on them because this part of France has gone between France and Germany quite a few times over the years. So, kind of an interesting thing. Now, ooh, maybe some candies for the kids. Something we could do there, yeah. Anyway, so when you're walking through Colmar, the this doesn't the cobblestones aren't so bad versus some of the other places you'd go. I mean, you can tell they've made it relatively easy for tourists to get around. There's a nice little tourist train that'll take you all over the place. Um, I will say though, a lot of the buildings, um, hotels, they've actually put multiple buildings together in order to make the hotels. So you might have a you might have a pseudo uh, you might have a pseudo step within. <laughs> your room. I found that out. My mom did. So just, just be ready for that. And the thing is, they have quite a few museums here. They see they have all the sign postings that go around. Um, La Petite Venice, that's where we started off at. There's a natural history museum. But also, there's a museum here. The, uh, oh man, I can't remember the name of it. They have this incredible altarpiece. We were actually there today, and they've actually taken it apart so you can see the different parts of the altarpiece. So when I put out the Jones of Colmar video, You'll see that, and we'll, we'll put it in there, but it's just an incredible time. Just an incredible collection of uh, ecclesiastic art. So here's where we were earlier today. Had our wine and cheese and beer, and the guy inside was quite nice. Hey! <laughs> He's a good guy. Go to, his, go to his place. Go to his place. Eat lots. Yeah, so you can't, you can't go wrong being here. I mean, that's one thing. I really get, I really get sad because... There's so much ill will towards French, like, people, because I think, oh, French people are rude, or the service isn't good. That's a load of crud. French people are fantastic. The service is great. Um, I think the reason why you get the bad service vibe is because of all the all the Parisian waiters, uh, which actually this will come up in the, the new hates of, of, of France video. The Parisian waiters just get such a bad, give such a bad rap to the people in France because a lot of times that's the only local that people meet when they're here in France is the Parisian waiter who's overrun with tourists who's like, I hate you all. So, you know, it's like thinking about your waiter at Applebee's in Orlando that gets overrun with tourists all the time. Maybe not the best example. Okay, so don't let that change your judgment. Now, here's one of the churches here. They're doing a little work on the outside, but this is a nice view of it. It's a beautiful place. Oh, and someone was asking about the Bartholdi Museum. So Bartholdi is the guy who did the Eiffel Tower, designed it, and there's his museum right there, and you can go inside and see some of his sculptures and his work and stuff, so it's kind of a cool thing if you want to check it out. And obviously, I mean, it's right downtown, so not a big deal. And of course, they do a lot of preservation here, so they're working on some preservation right here, and so we as good people have to adjust ourselves as well. Let's see, they're getting it put back together. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, Sue's Komar is a definite. Like, I'll come back here with a family, no question. No question at all. Let's see. Here, we'll come around this way. There you go. Yeah, so I don't know if anybody's commenting or anything, but I appreciate y'all being on here. Um, one thing I think is interesting is when you come to Alsace, you definitely get a French vibe, but you see things, you're like, but this looks a bit like Germany, and it's got a, you know, because it's gone across back and forth to France and Germany every couple hundred years or so, which you can see that in the influence of the food, influence on the people, the attitude that's here, so... It is different, it is different. And the people here are super, super, super proud. They're super proud of being Alsatian. Not just French, not just Colma, but Alsatian just in general, which is really, really cool. Uh, Julian, any Mexican restaurants there? I have not seen any. Uh, I've looked, but I have not seen any yet. <laughs> so, all kinds of things. Anyway. So you notice, like, since you can tell this is a tourist town because all these pedestrian zones and there's just table after table after table. And if you're going to be here on a 
Sunday, Sunday daytime, this is all packed with tourists, and this is Sunday night. A lot of the restaurants don't open up again on Sunday night, and also Monday is a big night for restaurants to be closed. So, finding a place to eat on Monday night can be a little bit complicated, okay? So, I want to give you a heads up on that one. Now, see how they have the nice signage to go and show you stuff? Oh, so the, muse the museum... Unter Linden, that's the one that has the altarpiece that's just really, really amazing that you can check out. Now, if you're looking at this church, you know, if you were on with us last night, I showed you the facade, I showed you all the work on the cathedral in Strasbourg. Well, this isn't a cathedral, so it's not going to have as much stuff and uh, as much money spent on it, but it still is pretty, pretty, pretty. So... <laughs> let's see as moves over this way sorry this uh this gimbal's being a little bit problematic today so there's some other museums here there's some more art museums natural history museum there's actually a toy museum here that has toys from for the like the last hundred years or so so it's kind of cool being in there today yes for me we're alive again today we were going to do one later this week while we're here, but since it's Mother's Day, we thought for all those mothers out there, and I'm with mine, we'll, we'll be on here. But also, you know, with a time change, you know, doing a 7 o'clock at night thing here is like noon in the U.S., and so some people like, you know, got to go to work tomorrow. So there you go. See, more storks. You're, you're definitely all south if you see storks. And pretzels. They love their pretzels here. That is one of your go-to kind of things, okay? So, if you're looking to see what toys you can get your kid when you come here, maybe Liam will give me a call. See, the superheroes are over here. You got your superheroes, your dinosaurs, your transformers, all that good stuff. Oh, wow, that one's kind of cool. Civil War, nice. So, but then there's things that are a little creepy. Like, can you see in the window up there with the dolls in the window? I, I, I'm not going to go to that store because that's kind of scary <laughs> oh but look at the look at the metal signage on the buildings you know the, people know like what was there like what store is there and stuff i mean not all of them are the same anymore but it could be the old what the store used to be so that's kind of cool let's see what's the significance of the stork in the city it is the symbol of the region so it's kind of like why you see the bald eagle all over in the U.S. So here is the old Evangelical Lutheran Church. This is actually a church that our ancestors, my ancestors went to. So that's kind of a cool thing. It's one of the reasons why we're here. Hey there in Kansas. Good to see you. Again, more places to sit down and eat. More places to enjoy yourself. All kinds of things. Look, you got your pretzel thing up there too. See, they're all over. More storks. You can't make some of this stuff up. <laughs> it's just always there. So, uh, yeah. And you see, like, we're just walking and walking, and there's miles and miles of pedestrian street. Though there'll be the occasional car that comes through, so I don't know how that's fully pedestrian, but you do have a ton of pedestrian streets here. Oh, here's a little... So that... Chutreux? No, Chutreux. Chutreux, right there, the top one. That is... Uh, sauerkraut and you'll have like sausage with it and ham and and uh like sh pork shoulder and maybe some pork belly and maybe some other fun stuff with some mustard and horseradish i mean there's all kinds of stuff that's there um but yeah and the thing is is we're just walking around and see so, you know like there is a normal store right but there's actually a whole other part of the city of the pedestrian streets that is just shops like normal shopping stuff so we might walk over there but i wanted to show you look on these buildings see how they have their cans on there and there's all this stuff it's like random things i'll just hang out on there so it's kind of fun when you're walking around and it's just a really nice town just to relax in um here let's go we'll go up here and around oh we can show you where the uh what? you want to show the plants flowers and the the Martyrs of the Resistance, yeah. People that were killed during the resistance to the Nazis. They're there. They are. So, but again, they've done such a good job with the signage here, so you can easily get around everywhere. Um, 
I just thought I'd walk around somewhere. Stry. Hey guys, ban that Jabo 2000, please. Bonjour from Scotland. Good to see you. This guy looks like Bill Bryson with long hair. Well, I do travel like Bill Bryson does or did, so I'll take that as a compliment. I've read some of his books over the years. They're quite entertaining. Um, yeah. Yes. Um, well, there's not a lot of signs in English, but a lot. Of, well, actually, uh, when we go back some of the by some of the sites, I'll I'll show you. Um, there actually are a lot of signs that will be in English, German, and French um, because the tourists that come here, there's so many, and we're right near Germany and Switzerland. I mean, getting to Switzerland, I mean, honestly, it's a 30 minute, maybe 45, 45 minute to Basel um, train ride, and it's not like a fast train, it's just like a normal train to go there. So uh, there's that. Ah, the bells, of course, because I'm filming. So it's funny, so I'm going to show you the shopping street down here, and I don't know if you'll actually see all the way down, but it just goes and 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 goes. So if you ever need to get like normal shopping done, that's where you're going to go. Now if you're looking for the altar, that is in this building here, it's a former church monastery that you can go into fantastic collection of ecclesiastical work i mean it is really really cool um again more restaurants more restaurants and then of course you got the towers of the churches here but i think one thing that you want to know and you know i know that some people really love the tourist trains and they have the tourist trains going around all the time here um well during the day they're, they're done for today but if you go to the Unterlinden Museum right outside this part, this square I'm at right now, this is where that right here is where you get the the tourist train, so to take you around. So just some tourist trains. Yes, the tourist trains, Carmen. That's this is right here. So you walk by here, and this is where they start. They have tours in multiple languages, and uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I just want to kind of walk through here a little bit and show a little bit around. My mom and I are gonna go grab some dinner you know, for Mother's Day. And uh, we just thought it'd be nice to walk around with you all for a little while and just wish you all the best and show you a little bit of the beauty that is Colmar. So uh, I think we're going to sign off now. Oops, sorry. To a sign off now, I just thought it'd be fun to hop on live and show you all what it's like to be in Colmar. It's well worth visiting. It is gorgeous. We will have plenty of videos about Alsace and obviously here in Colmar. So you'll have that. Thank you, Grant, for the super chat. We appreciate it. So We'll have fun. Steven, I still have three or four more days, so I'll have the, the shocks coming up later, but I think that one of the shocks is just how many of these incredible buildings, like, I mean, we've been walking for 25 minutes, and it's just this building after this building after this building. It's just gorgeous. And then you come up to this former church here that has a fantastic museum inside. You're like, wow, it's one thing after another. And then right behind there is the, uh, the tourism office from there. And then behind there, if you want to do more modern stuff, there's a movie theater back there farther. I mean, there's just so many things. So it is a really nice place. And if you're going to come here, I do want to tell you, um, you know, Strasbourg, Strasbourg is like the Christmas capital of France. Um, but honestly, this is a, a close second and a lot of people just come here and enjoy the Christmas markets and Christmas lights and all the experience here. And what's interesting is so many people just make this a day trip that you come around at night, it's pretty empty. Okay, so just one of the things you might want to know. Anyway, I'm going to head off. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for hopping on. I want to wish you all a very happy Mother's Day and thank you everybody. I appreciate it and uh, be good to your mom. Happy Mother's Day everybody. Bye from Colmar.